There is no doubt that Sony Alpha cameras are fantastic pieces of film equipment. However, one thing they can't do out of the box is record past 30 minutes. And there are three big limiting factors that hold us back from doing this. But today, I'm gonna to show you how to get past them to record as much as you'd like. So the first thing that doesn't allow us to record unlimited video is actually the camera's stock firmware. Sony programmed this camera so that it wouldn't record clips past 30 minutes, and it's not because it can't, it can, but it's so that they could avoid taxes when selling in Europe. Basically, the European Union ruled that any camera that records longer than 30 minutes is a video camera and is subject to a 5-12% to import tax. To keep the cost down, Sony and other camera manufacturers like Nikon and Canon automatically stop recording clips at 30 minutes so they're not subject to this tariff. Luckily, we can get past this pretty easily. So the first thing you'll want to do is dig into your camera's menu and change the USB connection mode to MTP mode. This will allow your computer to install applications and other programs onto the camera. Now what you used to have to do is go to Internet Explorer and Safari and download the tweak that way, but it's very tricky to communicate the camera through a browser, so the dev made a desktop application that works on both Windows and Mac that has a much higher success rate. Once you plug in the camera and install the Play Memories tweak, there should be a new app in your camera's application list that shows you some detailed information about the device, but more importantly, sets the recording time to unlimited. Obviously, you'll have to power the camera for a considerable amount of time, and since Tic Tacs last longer, than Sony batteries, you'll have to get an AC adapter. You might hear these referred to as dummy batteries, and that's because it actually tricks the camera into thinking there's a battery, when in reality, the battery is just AC power. You could buy the official Sony adapter, but uh... Instead, I ordered this $20 one off of Amazon, linked in the description, and it seems to be working really well so far. No fires yet. I hope I didn't just jinx that. Speaking of fires, these cameras get super hot when recording in 4K 100 megabit per second and can overheat really easily. The first order of business is to raise the shutoff temperature inside your camera's setting menu so that it won't shut off as fast. Additionally, replacing the battery with a dummy battery will also help to keep the camera cool in the long run. Getting an enclosure for your camera, such as this small rig cage, can help dissipate the heat and it helps to get a fast enough SD card to handle 4K recording. Through all these steps, I was able to record for so long that actually my 64GB SD card filled all the way up. With 4K recording, that's about an hour and 30 minutes of video, and I'm pretty pleased with that. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or if it helped you, please make sure to leave a like, and we will see you guys in next week's video.